Hello there. I've just been asked a great question by Kev Hamilton who wants to know how do you set up a business or a private email address on your iPhone? So I'm going to show you now. And the first thing you need to do is go into the settings tab. From here, if you scroll down on your iPhone, you'll see mail, contacts and calendars. If you select that, it will take you to a screen where all of your current mailboxes are set up. And I'm going to add a new account. Now from here, depending on what you're using, whether it be Gmail or Hotmail, in this instance, because it's a private or a business email address, we're going to use other. And we're going to add a mail account. Now we're going to type in a name for this account. In this case, it's going to be Kev. And his email address is kev at seriousaboutjobs.co.uk. We're going to change the description to Serious About Jobs and select Next. At this point, it's going to ask you if you want either an IMAP or a POP. Now the difference is if you choose IMAP, what that means is that will take the message, deliver it to your mobile phone, but it will leave the message on your server. This is useful if you're using the same server for your phone, for your laptop, for your iPad, because it can pull the message several times. If you choose pop as an option, what this means is that once it takes the message from the server, it will delete the message from the server. So once the message appears on your phone, it will then only appear on your phone. If the message appears on your laptop, it will only appear on your laptop. So for this instance, I'm going to choose IMAP. Now the host name will vary from uh, server to server. In my instance, it's going to be mail dot and then the domain name. The username is uh, usually the email address. In this instance, it is the email address. and the password which we've set. Now the incoming and mail outgoing mail server, depending on your server, for my server, they are both the same. So I'm going to put the same details in here again. Sometimes it may be SMTP, but in this instance, it's mail.seriousaboutjobs.co.uk. Once we've completed, we'll hit next and it's a verify the account. Now the first thing it's going to tell you is that it cannot verify the server identity. That's fine, we can continue here and what it's going to do is it's going to verify the account using what's called non-encryptive. What it's then going to ask you if you would like to use the mail and the notes, we're going to click save and it will now add the account. What we can now see if we've got our new account, if we come back to our home screen and we look in our mail we can now see that we have a new mailbox, serious about jobs, and that's how you would create a new mailbox.